On this episode, it's Winter Field Day 2018, and we're bringing you along. Hello, this is John W7DBO with the Field Radio Podcast. If you want to learn more about getting your gear and getting it outdoors, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. It's Winter Field Day 2018. We're going to bring you along for our operation setup and after action report. So let's get going down the road. This is my own making, these extra holes. This is the Chameleon Antenna Wyndham 40. So one thing I like to do with these Velcro wraps is use it as a kind of a strain relief. This is a 26 foot. 26 foot painter pole with an antenna on top like if you had a diamond or something up there. You normally don't extend these things to maximum height. So this is, uh, you get these at feed stores. This is the pumpkin fence that has the hooks. You see that orange fence or some cattlemen use it for electric fence line. Uh, the nice thing is, is it has a nice spike, has a foot push, and it gives you all plastic. Summer field day, this works much better. Chameleon gives you this nice kite winder. It plays out the antenna, and then the other half is the, the paracord, and then it gives you a nice uh, bungee to kind of store, so it's a pretty, pretty slick setup for the field. I'm watching my pole to see where it wants tension to stay upright. So I'm gonna put a lot of tension on this, so that's what is nice about this plastic too, is I'm just gonna wrap that and then hook it again. But it's okay that it bends, and I like that it bends because if it was rigid, then something else will break somewhere else. So this is kind of the weak point. We have the 7300 uh, with the uh, auto tuner set up, uh, running a HP laptop, and then we have a second monitor, which is an RV monitor, so it's a 12 volt uh, DVD combo. We use that as a second monitor. We have a power supply going into my uh, comms to go. This is a 40 amp hour Biano power battery in there. It's got a power gate on the side, so uh, we're running into that, and then we're just doing external power, so we're not touching the battery right now. We're just coming external power in. Uh, then I'm using the West Mountain Radio power check. That's running to the radio, so right now I'm just gonna gauge my power usage on the radio. Okay, we're getting close to wrapping up our winter field day experience. We just kind of want to walk through some uh, after action items that we kind of gathered as we worked through this year. And the first one is, is where was California? Uh, at least where we were in Utah, we just looked back at our logs and yeah, primarily we spent our, most of our time on 20 and then finally at 40, getting close to the end here. And we did not make one California contact, which is rare. I don't think I can get on the radio without making a single California contact. We did hear some uh, one California guy uh, down in LA, and he wasn't in the contest. He wasn't sure what he was, and somebody was helping him get out of his category in class. Uh, so that's one thing that's amazing is I don't know if did California not participate? Did they boycott? <laughs> What's going on with California? Uh, let me know in the comments below if, if where you were if you saw uh, some more California activity than we did. Uh, so the next thing you have is just kind of some notes here is uh, yeah, the band openings. I don't know, let me know what you experienced, but uh, uh, 20 meters, is it was a 20 meter contest. It seemed like uh, uh, 40, we kept on checking back to 40 and, and 40 finally opened up and we started getting some phone and digital contacts in 40. I just got some notes right now on my phone here. Uh, a big thing for us was we started getting some HDI, HDMI interference, interference in general. So our HDMI cord going from our laptop to our secondary monitor uh, would blank out every time we transmit it. So I need to search and find it. If I find it, I'll put it in the notes. Uh, I need to get an RF choked uh, uh, HDMI cable. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. We had the same thing with USB. The USB would blank out every time I transmit. Now I have a double RF choked USB cable going from the radio to laptop. So uh, I think we just need to address that with a shorter HDMI cable. We kind of had a longer one and then also uh, heavier shielding on the uh, uh, HDMI cable. I think they'll help it. Big lesson, especially with contests like this, I really need to learn CW. 
uh, because every band, every mode was a multiplier. And the CD, this the CW side was just hot, and there were people all over the place, and it was so hard to the look and see that and know those contacts were out there. And because after a while with digital modes, uh, you just everybody on there was the people you already contacted. You start running out of people to talk to, and then that's why I liked it when 40 opened up, because we started talking to the same stations that we talked to on 20. Now we were on 40, just making the contacts again, and the same thing with phone. Uh, so you really got to learn CW because especially in an event like this with multipliers that would have been great to have. Uh, the macros I had set up um, didn't work as well as I wanted to. I think they work great in field day, but saying up, WFD did not cut it. People did not know what WFD was, so I ended up changing my macro to spelling out winter field day. Also there was a lot of less consistency with uh, the exchanges. Uh, we had a very efficient, what I thought, what I watched everybody was doing on field day last last uh, summer, and it was a lot better consistency on exchange, and it was very streamlined. Here, it was, you got a lot of people that would just come back and acknowledge you, and then you had to send your information, and then they would send theirs, and so it was a lot longer contact, but then again, the bands weren't that busy, there wasn't that many people, so we ended up modifying our, our macros quite a bit. And so um, I'll do a video on the updated macros, and then I'll link that back to my old macro video, just so in case anybody watches that, uh, they can see what we changed uh, for winter field day. So the sun's starting to go down and 40 meter is finally opening up. We got some digital contacts and some phone. Mostly we just been on 20 all day, just getting a lot of contacts on digital and phone on 20. So, but we got some family commitments this evening, so we're having to break down camp early. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more to the Field Radio Podcast, please go to fieldradiopodcast.org. Check out our bi-weekly podcast and also on this YouTube channel, hit the subscribe and bell icon to get more notifications like this. So for W7DBO, KG7IVS, and WA7ZBO, say 73.